Alright, so today I woke up and checked my mail and boom, there lies a beautiful box. What could be inside, I wonder? Mystery abounds. Now a more perceptive individual might have noticed a shipping label from Spider Farmer, but not this guy. I prefer the trial by fire method, so I carry it inside and take it to the grow room to unbox. Now, if you guys follow my socials, you know that I buy way too much stuff, so having Spider Farmer give me this light to test out is a nice change of pace. They sent me one of their newer models, the Spider Farmer G4500. Spider Farmer is a well-known brand in the world of indoor gardening and offers some of the best LED grow lights available. And the first thing I see when I unbox this is some cool Halloween-themed stickers. Oh shit. That's nice. And it looks like this model utilizes the bar style LEDs similar to the SE7000 that I have. If you guys don't already know, I really enjoy this new style as the old models with fixed drivers and the large LED faces trap heat at the top of the grow area. The bar style allows for better airflow, heat dispersion, and they're much lighter so if you're growing in a tent that can be really helpful when you have a bunch of stuff hanging. The G4500 is super light, 11 pounds lighter than the SC7000, weighing in at 15 pounds, which equals 6.9 kilograms for all my global viewers. After picking this thing up though, I honestly think it's lighter, but I could just be delusional, so I'll have to weigh it on a scale later. Oh, actually, one reason it might be lighter is that I don't mount my drivers to my lights. They throw unnecessary heat, so I just hang them or mount them outside of the grow space. It also allows me to adjust the light without having to open the tent or grow area, and high temperatures can cause the electrolyte gel inside the driver's capacitors to dry out, which drastically shortens the life of the lights. And I probably should have mentioned this earlier, but for those of you wondering what a driver is, basically it's what LEDs utilize instead of a ballast to convert the alternating current into direct current to power the LEDs. On old school metal halide lights, they used ballasts, and while the light output from metal halide bulbs is very high quality, they have a much shorter lifespan and have really long warm up periods. LEDs tend to last much longer, are much more energy efficient, and are a less maintenance intensive technology, so that's why you see most indoor growers using LEDs now. There's a ton more info about what type of lights to use and why, but these are just the basics. If you guys want a more in-depth video on how the lights work and electricity, just write light video in the comments and I'll make one that's really in-depth about what type of lights to use and the pros and cons of each of them. As you can see, the bars just snap into place and the wires are plug and play, so assembling this light is really easy. Now I'm going to bring it into the 2x8 and replace the SF1000s that the Evil Grims have been under with this. But I'll cover that in the Evil Grimace Clone to Harvest video. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more cannabis related content. Thanks for watching guys, remember to join the giveaway, the link is in the description. Peace out squaws.